Okay, here's a quick guide just showing how simple it is to install Raspberry MC, the popular XBMC um, application for Raspberry Pi. So um, head on over to raspbmc.com and click on the download link at the top and you just need to select your relevant operating system that you're running. So in my case I'm actually running Windows um, but you've got the option of Mac and Linux just below so uh, we're going to click on the Windows one and the download link is actually hidden just there in that very first sentence so there you go click on that and we've got that downloaded so I'm now going to open that up and what I'm going to do let's close that, I'm going to extract that just to my desktop so uh, let's pop it on there OK and we can close that and we can also close the browser as well because we're done with that um, I've got this autoplay function here which uh, is basically telling me that I've inserted the SD card um, so the SD card uh, that you're going to need for the Raspberry Pi is in my PC if you don't have a internal SD card reader for your PC then uh, you can pick up a USB SD card reader very cheaply um, there's plenty of shops or online you can buy them for um, in the UK I know they certainly sell them for around about a pound you can pick them up for a basic one um, so I'm just going to close that now I've got my setup file there so let's run that and we can accept that and there we go we're now into the uh, Raspberry MC installer um, and if you need to run it in the future, that's that's the program there. Okay. Um, ideally, you'd put it in a in a folder of its own, so it's not quite so messy. Because we've also got this and this that belong to it. Um, so what we need to do is uh, click on the mass storage device. And make sure that is your SD card. If you accidentally choose another device, um, you will um, lose all the contents on it so uh, tick that and make sure that is your SD card um, now you just need to choose what you want to do um, I'm actually going to install this to a USB drive because it runs faster um, if you use a nice fast USB 3 stick like the uh, um, Verbatim store and go um, USB 3 they're, they're very quick and you know very good so I'm gonna click on that um, it says this is for advanced users only it's it's not overly advanced to be quite honest um, it's just a case of uh, clicking that button um, but you could install to an SD card if you want but uh, SD cards they are liable to uh, become corrupt especially if you start using uh, overclock settings to speed speed up your um, Raspberry Pi so although you do need an SD card for a USB install um, I would recommend a USB 3 stick install because it's um, it's so much quicker um, but different um, USB 3 sticks do vary in speed so uh, like I say I would recommend the um, Verbatim Store and Go V3 um, we can manually configure the network so if we wanted to set up our sort of wireless and things like that we could do that in there um, but I've just got the Ethernet cable plugged into the Raspberry Pi so I'm going to stick with that um, just stick with the uh, default settings and you need to click I accept the license agreement um, and obviously if you wanted to just install to the SD card and not the USB stick you would untick that box there um, so what I'm going to do is just click install and what it does, it downloads um, all the latest files that it needs. Um, so you can see them on the desktop there, actually. Um, there we go. We've got that. And we've got that file there, which is basically going to copy over to the SD card. Um, it's going to do all that for us. So the USB there, that just tells uh, Raspberry MC when it's booting up that we're going to be using the USB stick for XBMC install. OK, so that's been done. Um, now all we need to do is um, close that down and head on over to the Raspberry Pi. OK, so I've just put the um, SD card and a blank USB stick into the Raspberry Pi. Um, as mentioned, it's optional to have the USB stick. You could install just from SD card if you wanted, but it is considerably slower. Um, 
Now this just goes through the initial sort of boot up sequence and you have to make sure also that you're connected to the internet so uh, preferably um, have your ethernet cable inserted so there you can see it's uh, successful successfully connected to the network so that means it's um, connected to the internet and it tells you there that it's typically going to take 15 to 25 minutes on a home broadband connection uh, it's pretty much an automated process uh, there's not a lot you have to do to be quite honest it just goes through all this uh, these little pop-ups come up just explaining uh, what's going on and Raspberry MC has detected a USB drive connected if you do not wish to install to this drive power off Raspberry MC within the next 60 seconds um, yeah so I mean if you've accidentally put a stick in there that you've got content on remove it immediately at this stage because it will format the device and you won't be able to uh, recover any of the stuff on that was previously on that stick but um, but yeah I mean um, otherwise if you're happy with it uh, just uh, let it go through and um, I'm just going to speed up past uh, past these sections here because it's uh, it's pretty much automated like I say so there's nothing you have to do it just takes uh, 15 to 25 minutes on a standard broadband connection so uh, I'll come back in a moment uh, once we have something to update okay so after a few pop-ups and reboots um, it was all automated um, but didn't have to do anything at all uh, we're now booted up into Raspberry MC as you can see there now um, that probably took about 15 minutes yeah it must have been around about 15 minutes and that was on a very fast fiber connection so um, so yeah it's definitely a little slower installing than open elect but a very simple process um, so it should uh, just let it bring up the options it will also rapidly bring up these options here um, so once you've got these options just select your language um, so in my case English and I would recommend leaving it for a couple of minutes uh, leave it for yeah two or three minutes uh, just whilst it auto updates all the add-ons and services in the background um, because um, you know by the time you've installed it there's bound to have been some uh, some add-on updates and they will show in the bottom right corner um, what's updating you know if there's anything to be updated so you can see there for example we've got the universal album scraper that's just been updated and um, and like I say yeah just uh, just leave it wait until all those are finished and then just have a little play round and um, that's it congratulations you've got Raspberry MC installed <laughs> 